Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today I want to show you a full day of training and a full day of eating. So I was actually getting ready to show you my lunch and realized I was in a hurry this morning and forgot to film an intro. So this morning I had an upper body lift and I had a coffee before, had a coffee beforehand about 4.30 this morning. So calories and macros on the screen there. Just kidding, it's black coffee because I don't drink fruit fruit coffee. I drink regular black coffee. Um, so no calories, no macros there. So drank that, hit an upper body lift. So I'm gonna show you that and then I'll see you back here to show you uh, what I'm bringing for lunch and my breakfast. All right guys, let's get into it. Since it's a training, full day training video, I wanted to show you guys exactly what I was doing and do a voiceover. So for uh, my first lift, I had bench 245 pounds for three sets of four and then 235 pounds for a max set. Everything felt pretty heavy this morning. I don't know why. You can see I was even just having a hard time doing these three sets of four. Uh, not really sure why, but these, uh, this max bench set that's coming up will give me issues on the overhead press later. Otherwise though, I mean, simple progressions. I've been doing the same exact lifts for a few weeks now, just adding weight, adding reps. So anyways, there's my second set of 245 and then I did a third set of 245, I just didn't film it. And then here was my one set of 235 by max. I threw the wrist straps on just for a little extra stability. Really my chest and shoulders felt fine. My triceps are what gave out. So like I said, that's gonna come up in the next exercise, which is overhead press. I would have gone for another one, but last week I uh, went for another one and failed and ended up having a bail. I didn't feel like doing that this morning. So here we go, overhead press. I had uh, three sets of eight. So for this one, I went a little lighter because my, like I said, my triceps were dead today. I did 125 for three sets of eight. Anyways, you can see like these just felt a lot harder than they should have today. Just in my triceps there. But overall I got them done. So that's what's important. All right, and now we are to bent over row. I had 175 pounds for four sets of 12. I go back and forth between if I put it in the J hooks and start from there, or if I just start from the ground. Um, I think I like starting the J hooks better. That's what, that's what I've been doing recently. Guys, I'm so pumped to move. We're moving this weekend. By the time this is posted, we'll be moved. And I'll have my new home gym. It'll look nicer. Uh, it'll be a lot more organized. You can see it's kind of just a mess right now. I'm super pumped for that. I was scoping out the, the garage yesterday and planning out how I wanted to set the home gym up. So anyways, this is my second set of uh, Ben of Rose. I, like I said, I had four sets, but I only filmed two because I wasn't going to film four and have you guys sit here and watch me do four sets of Ben over Rose. And then here we go for, I had incline bench, three sets of 12. Don't judge my incline bench setup. I didn't want to buy an incline bench until we moved to the new place. And so this works. I get 45 pound bumper plates and set them down at the head and I put some weights down at the foot so the bench doesn't slide. Definitely not ideal, but you got to get the work in. And on these days that I have double training days, my schedule is too busy to drive into the gym. Luckily where we're moving is closer to the gym, so that'll be nice. But that's the point of the home gym is just being able to get it in even when, when things are uh, tight with schedule. But anyways, here's my last set of incline bench, and I actually ended up failing a little early. I didn't want to have to bail from an incline position. That's a little sketchy to me, so for safety, I just I ended up racking it instead of going for another one. So I ended up bailing, shaking my arms out, and then finishing. I couldn't not finish, but I knew I wasn't going to get him if I went for him like that, so I had to give myself a couple seconds and finish. And then after this, I had penlay rows, which actually, although they're super painful, they're one of my favorite lifts. I don't know, I just love them. They're fun. I went a little lighter on incline bench and, oh yeah, incline bench I hit 255 and then penlay row, or sorry, 155 and then penlay row I hit 155. I went a little lighter on both of those just since everything was feeling super heavy today. I wanted to keep form good and uh, proper form at proper RPE was more important than weight to me. Uh, so I did three sets of 12 for these. And then I had a 15 minute AMRAP that I actually ended up skipping um, because of time, but it was one burpee, two pull-ups, three push-ups, four kettlebell swings, and five hanging leg raises for 15 minutes. But like I said, I skipped that just for time today. So finished out Penley Rose. And we're back. So as I mentioned, I'm in a little bit of a hurry. So I'm gonna run through this real quick and then I gotta get ready and head out for work. So breakfast that I'm about to warm up is my breakfast burritos. You can see they're still frozen because I gotta warm them up. 
Um, but they're just, I put them in the microwave for like two minutes. So I've actually made a video on those. If you want to check that out, I'll link it up above. And then uh, for my lunch, I've got a snack here. This snack is yogurt and bananas. So I'll throw the calories and macros for the snack here and breakfast and then the total between those two. And then for lunch, I've got homemade cane sauce that I made. I uh, found a recipe online for that. And I've got green beans, ground turkey, and white rice. So definitely bro meals. But, you know, it works. It gets the calories and macros in. And I've got to keep it kind of bland today because I've got a track workout after work. So then after work, I'm probably just going to have a scoop of G1M Sport from BPN. And that's it. So I don't, you know, have too much GI distress during my intervals. I've got 400 meter uh, repeats today. So yeah, I'm gonna pack this, get dressed, and I'll see you guys at lunch. Real quick, I wanted to add, if you're curious how I manage my nutrition, I've already made a video on that, so I'll link that up above as well. You can go check that out. But right now, my baseline calories are about 25-25, and then I add back 80% of what I eat uh, for endurance activities. But if you want a full depth uh, explanation, check out that video. Otherwise, I'll see you guys at lunch. And we are back at lunch, so I've got my rice, oh it's hot, rice, green beans, and ground turkey, and my cane sauce that I made at home. So I'm gonna crush these, I'll throw calories and macros on the screen somewhere, and then totals on the screen as well. I'm gonna crush this, get back into work, I've got a busy day, a lot of stuff to do, but I will catch you guys later when I'm off and changed out for the track. All right guys, I am gonna get out the door to go run it's uh, 88 degrees right now and it feels like 93 so i'm gonna get out of the door i haven't had anything except for the g1m sport and so i'm gonna bring some water and i'll probably have some electrolytes ready for when i get back i'm probably not going to video it that much because i'm going to be doing straight line on the road since the track is still closed school's still in session or school hours school isn't in session yet because it's summer but school hours still with their summer school or whatever they have going on so I'm going to go hit some straight line road uh, sprints. It's a uh, thousand meter warm up, six 400s, and a thousand meter cool down. So I'm going to put that in my Garmin and just go hit straight road. Um, not as fun as the track, but gets it done. And I will, um, I guess I'll go over here since I am not going to video, so I won't be able to do a voiceover. So it's a thousand meter easy warm up, six 400s with one to one work to rest ratio. So you know, 400 takes you 75 seconds and you rest 75 seconds. And then a thousand meter cooldown. Uh, they're hard sprints, they're not all out, but they're hard efforts. I'm actually gonna have some electrolytes now because sodium is super important and I was just thinking I haven't had a lot of sodium um, drop in supplements. I've tried liquid IV I really like, drip drop I really like. I'm out of both of those. And I also really like BPN's electrolytes. They taste really good, the salted watermelon. And now, I'm gonna have this in my drink while I warm up and run. So I will see you guys after the run to debrief it a little bit. So I just got back from my run. I'll put it up above the data that's including the warm up and the cool down, which was supposed to be a thousand meters, but I shortened it a little bit. That way I could uh, have my starting point for my sprints be in the shade for safety reasons, because it was 90 degrees, felt like a hundred with a dew point of 79, which is super, hot and humid. So if you don't know, dew point is a better indicator of how it feels outside than humidity is. Uh, dew point's the measure of the water in the air. So basically 50% humidity at 90 degrees is more water in the air than 50% humidity at 50 degrees. Um, so a dew point of 79 is considered oppressive if I remember correctly. The yeah, run was good, super hot, but I got all my 400s done had to do it not at the track because the school is closed or school was in session like I uh, mentioned earlier. Um, but I actually like doing it. I went to do it at this place called Mount Trashmore that's uh, about 15 minutes away from where I'm at right now. It was really nice actually. It was a good change of pace. So yeah, I'm not actually going to eat anything right now. Um, I'm just going to actually I'm going to get an athletic brewing beer. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do because it's good and it will be good recovery. Um, I have to open some new ones, but I'm gonna get that out. If you would like to pick up some Athletic Brewing, definitely use the code in my description if you wouldn't mind. It's an affiliate link, um, so it helps me out at no cost to you. 
but Athletic Brewing is super good, non-alcoholic beer, so it doesn't hinder your recovery during the week because if you, uh, you know, have alcohol during the week, it's going to hinder your sleep, hinder your recovery. I really like it. I still drink regular alcoholic beer on the weekends normally, unless I'm just at home. I don't like to drink alcohol without friends around, right? Um, alcohol is a social thing for me. But sometimes I want to drink when I'm cooking or after a run, right? A recovery beer, right? So I reach for Athletic Brewing, non-alcoholic, super good. And actually, yeah, a lot of alcoholic, non-alcoholic beer is gross, but I don't know, their process is supposed to be different from other non-alcoholic beer and it's super good. So definitely try that out. All right, got it. Recovery beer. This is a uh, personal record. It's their non-alcoholic uh, IPA. I think it's a limited edition. So pick it up while it's on their site. So I'm gonna have a recovery, non-alcoholic recovery beer in the shower. And then I'm gonna start dinner before Hannah gets home. That way, you know, just nice. I like to try to make dinner when I have time. You know, that way she doesn't feel like she always has to make dinner. And I'm going to take the dog out because he probably needs to go out. So I will see you guys at dinner. All right. And we're here with dinner. So got Bonk Burgers from Shailene Flanagan's book, um, Eat Fast, Cook Fast, Eat Fast, Run Fast, Cook Fast, Eat Slow. That's what it's called. It took me a second. Um, I'll put a link in the description down below to the book if you want to get it. Again, it's an affiliate link but it's no extra cost to you, so I'd really appreciate it if you'd use the link. Um, Bonk Burgers, super good. Uh, put them on a salad with some uh, cherry tomatoes, spinach, Caesar dressing, cheese, and a few other things. So I'm gonna eat that. I'll put the calories and macros up on the screen as well as the totals for the day. So far, I may have something else tonight because I'm pretty hungry. I might not. Um, right now I'm about to the end of my uh, calories for the day but I don't want to starve myself. So if I'm still hungry, I'll eat some and just take it off of tomorrow. Um, I have a longer threshold run tomorrow, so I'm gonna have more calories to play with. You know, at the end of the day, the whole week matters. Um, you just don't want to get in a cycle of constantly putting stuff off to the next day and then it builds up and you don't want to do that. But every once in a while, it's fine. So yeah, I'm gonna eat this and I might have another snack. If so, I'll see you then. If not, I will see you for my sleep supplements. All right, guys, and to close out the day, I've got my BPN Peak Sleep, uh, the sleep supplement I've been taking for the past, like, month. Um, I really like this stuff. This is not sponsored by anything, um, by BPN at all. Um, I just really like it. It's helped me sleep a lot. Um, looking at my Garmin sleep score, the days I didn't take it when we were in Michigan for a wedding were uh, really bad sleep, and that's reflected in how I feel. I find that the... Diego wants to play. I find that the Garmin sleep score is uh, pretty accurate with how I feel. So I really recommend you guys try this. If you don't want to try this, you can also try, I do still have some. I used to take Thorne's magnesium bisglycinate. That also really helped me sleep. Um, Peak Sleep has magnesium bisglycinate in it. It also has uh, a ton of other stuff, so you can check it out if you want. I recommend finding a sleep supplement that works for you and building a routine around sleep. That way, uh, no matter what you've got going on in your life, you can get in that routine. Once you get that routine set up, your body really gets used to it. So anyways, uh, calories and macros on the screen there. And totals up above as well for the whole day. I went a little over, but not too much. So I'm just going to take that from tomorrow since I've got a threshold run in the morning. Um, I'm going to have plenty of calories to play with after the run. So I'm going to take those from tomorrow, overall super successful training day and uh, super successful day of eating as well. So I'm really happy with it. Uh, I hope you guys learned something. Um, appreciate you guys sticking around this long. If you wouldn't mind liking and subscribing, um, it helps me grow the channel and put out more good content like this. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video.